Gordo, okay? It's not my real uncle, but he be around a lot, so we just call him Uncle Gordo, okay? <laughs> so right now, he's finna get a mid-ball fade um, with like a two-guard close against the grain on top. So we, let's just jump right into this haircut. First thing I'm doing now is set my ball guideline right at the bottom of that vert vertical bar. And you're gonna drop it a little bit down um, towards the back of the head. After you set that guideline there, you just want to clear out all the bulk at the bottom. Now, this fading system is not the newer one that I use. Um, I really think this fading system is, like, it's good for when you're trying to get the cut done faster, but still in a good way. So, that's kind of why I titled it, like, how to, uh, like, do a, a quick mid-fade or something like that. Because this, this um, system right here is faster than what I do now. So now that we clean the bulk off, you just want to use the shavers and get that giant razor ball. Uh, make sure you go over it multiple times and do not go all the way to the top of the guideline because you don't want to make the bottom line too um, harsh to get out. So after you shave it like this, you just want to come back with your trimmers and take out that, that little stubble line between the razor ball and the, the last guideline at the bottom. close just going against the grain because he did have a lot of calyx um around his whole head so i just figured going against the grain would be the safest way to cut it all down um evenly because if you go with the grain you go over a calyx man it's all over <laughs> it really is all over he don't he didn't give me a specific length he just told me i said what kind of haircut you want he said fade i said okay i just cut the top down and just went all over the place with the two guy clothes. It got it even as possible on top. Now starting the fading process. I'm going to do my lever open. I'm going to do it on the beard first and then go up in the actual fade. About an inch wide because I want to stretch this fade out. So going up about an inch with the lever open. Just keep it consistent and make sure you go over it multiple times just to make sure it really it's really at that lever open length. Now with the one guy open, you want to do the same thing. Do that beer part at the bottom. And then you're going to go up to the fade and do a full inch guideline. Again, make sure you're being neat. Make sure you're being patient with this. Um, don't rush it, just take your time. two guard open i'm gonna because i did it with the two guard close i do the two guard open the first go around now the second time around i close the lever and go with the two guard close on my way back around the head um just because the, the natural hair on the top is at a two guard close because that's what i cut it with so it's basically like a fading down process 
Now I got my one guard open using my corners only. Man, this is this is crucial, okay? Do not want to pitch a whole guard on there. You don't want to put the full guard on the head while you're um, fading in that one guard open to the two guard close. Uh, it's just not going to work. <laughs> just make sure you use your corners and get as detailed as possible with this fade. And again, guys, this is another older video, man. I'm, I'm almost fully moved downstairs. I can't wait to show you guys. So any any video y'all see in the attic still is an old video. So I just want to let y'all know. Now using my zero guard closed, adjusting that lever as I go up. Being really, really crucial about how high I go up and what length I'm cutting the hair to. Especially with this wall guard, you want to be really, really careful on how high you go and where you go with the guard. So just use your corners. Use that flick out motion and constantly brush the hair down as fading, while you're fading. Fading it, I'm fading that beard out first and then I'm gonna go to the bottom of the fade now on straight hair textures like this when they get in the ball guideline out you just want to go straight in with the level close and make another small guideline about like a quarter of an inch and then after you do that just put that lever the halfway and take that that line out you you know what I'm talking about if you're actually cutting here but um, I find that easier and quicker just to get that than like when you're getting that ball guideline out, I find it faster to fade it like that. okay this fade looks okay all right but we know you got to take it to that next level you want your clients to come back um you always do what's necessary to get them to come back and what to tell other people about you so just get this fade as clean as possible do as much detail work as you need because to be honest with you most clients do not care about how much time you take as long as they get out that chair clean now if they got somewhere to go and now you just got to do a little bit of detail work and, and move on okay you got to move on And now it's time for the lineup part. It's a lot of his lineup is really all over the place right now. So I just want to get it prepped for a crispy line. So first thing I'm gonna do is go in with that one guard open. And then eventually I'm gonna cut it down to the one guard close. Do a little against the grain because of that calic on the other side. Um, I'm spraying the hairspray right now. Then I'm gonna spray some more hairspray after I brush it in and blow dry it just to get that skin dry. After you do those steps, you just want to line them up and get them crispy as possible. gonna use the enhancers right here but yeah i don't know if you guys know but this, this is my um i told y'all before this is my uncle gordo right here this is actually my first time cutting this hair um the second time i cut this hair i used my different fading method um to me it came out way better just because i knew how his hair worked at that point plus i had a new fading system so a lot of you guys might be in the comments like you could have did this 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 and that better um i know <laughs> believe me i know but 
um, you know, I, I try to learn from all my mistakes and I try to get better at every cut. So I just wanted to bring out this just because it was in the chamber. I'm trying to get all the videos out that was in the chamber so I could make some new ones in the new shop. using the razor on them just getting them clean as possible make sure the edge of last and uh yeah that's basically the cut if y'all like the cut make sure you follow me on ig make sure y'all follow my beat maker too as well and like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think but it's your boy with kick calf man i'm out deuces here you go uncle goro hey look man good yeah <laughs> now you want to see it Left the beer natural. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Drink crispy. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Appreciate you for coming, Uncle Boyle. Drink crispy. <laughs>